Buenos dias, my name is Rebecca. I'm a 3D artist, a VR QA tester, and I work at Oculus. background about me. I've been doing QA testing for about four years now. I st oh, they changed. I started off with uh, Xbox One, Xbox testing, testing video games there at Microsoft, moving over to more mobile testing. Uh, eventually, I ended up at ArenaNet with Path of Fire, um, helping them with their launch with PC testing specifically for Guild Wars 2. And now, I am at Oculus testing VR headsets. So how I got into QA testing is basically that a lot of artists like myself, I'm a 3D artist outside of all of this, uh, look for ways to get into the industry and understand what makes a good product, what makes a good game, and what makes a good device. So it kind of empowers us to be able to move up within the industry that way. Uh, and with QA testing itself, it's essentially trying to see under what conditions you can put this device in to break it. So I break things professionally. I don't know about you, but I'm hungry, so I'm going to go to work where they feed us three meals a day, which is pretty dope, and uh, we'll do some more discussion there. Beautiful Seattle morning. Isn't that ridiculous? Anyhow, so oftentimes I will get asked what is appropriate attire for interview for a tech industry? Because unlike marketing or operations, it's not so formal. And if anything, it's almost a faux pas to dress up super formally to your interview. So I'm speaking specifically towards QA, programming, art, engineering. Those types of jobs are not so formal. So you can never go wrong with a blazer a nice top, a nice fitted top that covers the shoulders, and then a nice pair of slacks. team for Oculus Seattle and I think women at for this office is a very important group. Uh, while we have many amazing women that work in this office, some of us don't have cross-functionality so to be able to come together is a great enhancer for our culture and our community here in the office. So we're going to switch it up and talk about Latinos in tech a little bit outside of Oculus and uh, this is a thing coming up, but uh, some empowerment through the Latino community and what I'm doing outside of that and having you meet some really awesome people. So switch it up. Hi, my name is Jennifer Molina and I work at Latino Community Fund. One of my goals uh, is to actually bring small business owners, educate them uh, about technology. So through Latinos in Tech, we are part, do, we're developing partnerships with different community leaders to educate and empower those business owners as well as anyone's, anyone else in the community to learn more about technology and ways that it will help them grow personally as well as their businesses. Hi everybody, my name is Jose Vasquez. I'm with the Latino community for Washington. Uh, the importance of digital equity in tech is, uh, for me, it's making sure that us as Latinos, 
are the ones leading the solutions that we need for our community. That's why here at Latinos in Tech, it's led by Latinos for Latinos, and we're very proud of that. My name is Pedro Perez, and I am with Geeking Out Kids of Color. Uh, one of the reasons why uh, it's important for me to be teaching uh, Latino kids to code is because uh, when we look at the education level, a lot of the times our communities are not being taught uh, coding or robotics at a young age. And as they get into that, our community is starting to think um, computational thinking through coding and through robotics. To middle school, high school, and later on trying to get into uh, university, they're not as competitive with other schools that have been doing that from grade level. So for me, it's about making sure Hi, my name is Marisol Morales. I'm a member of Latinos in Tech. Um, I feel it's important to share the stories of Latinos, particularly Latinas who are not well representative in technology. And it's important that we highlight their contributions and honor their um, aspirations and their goals and hopefully gather more women in tech. And now I will be interviewing the CEO of my company, QAnalyst, who contracts me for Oculus. Hi, I'm Ross Fernandez, I'm CEO of uh, QAnalyst. QAnalyst is an information uh, technology firm that specializes in quality assurance and testing of software. Uh, we're headquartered in um, San Jose, California, but we're international uh, in terms of presence. We have about 300 employees. Um, uh, throughout the country and the world and um, uh, we deal with large enterprises like Google and, and Facebook and Microsoft and um, AT&T um, um, among others and uh, I started this company in 2003 uh, the vision at that time was to grow a, a significant organization like we are today um, with, with a focus on technology and uh, because of my background, we happen to be a minority uh, business enterprise, and but over the years, by design. Okay. Over the years, we have been able uh, to create more opportunities for minorities. As a result of being a minority on the company, I was just looking at the stats the other day, and just our internal team is probably eighty percent. Minority, not by any design, but it seems like we attracted folks because we create an environment that people can uh, train and learn and be successful, and uh, and that's basically what we do. We put people to work in the end, um, and and creating opportunities for minorities has become a very significant part of our mission, um, and we've done a really good job in that. I think overall, in the overall company, we are over sixty percent. Uh, minority um, and it's hard in general to find minorities in tech and I think we've done a pretty good job uh, being able to do that and create an environment where, where people feel that they can partner with us for their career growth. So I hope you guys are enjoying my takeover so far. I wanted to cover uh, the aspects of Latino Community Fund as well as my CEO to sort of show you guys the differences uh, when you are hired by a minority bringing in other minorities and lifting other people up can really not only be beneficial for your career but also for creating a better community within the tech industry there's a lot of talks of diversity but not so much action and that is just something uh, that I've been very passionate about this year that has been fulfilling me professionally. This is my way of giving back for the tremendous amount of privilege that I've been giving with this job and I'm not done yet. Uh, we are going to finish up work here and then we're going to go over to my very first Seattle Technology Advisory Board meeting uh, with Jose that we met yesterday. If anything 
the things that you do outside of work are sometimes going to be some of the most important things to progress your career within technology. Because my work doesn't stop with QA. Hola guys, I know it's been a long day. I hope you've been enjoying my snaps. We're gonna wrap up today with a Seattle Technology Advisory Board meeting, as well, <laughs> I went up these steps, as well as a my submission for Drawtober. It's where artists draw every single day for the entirety of the month. So, let's go to this meeting. All right, guys, thank you so much for following me around my very busy day. Um, here are some of the places you can catch me and follow me. This is my personal business website, ravrocha.com, where you can find some of the arts commissions that I work on. And yes, commissions are open. As well as my YouTube channel, it is Latina Geek. All you got to do is look me up. I do have videos, new videos, every single Sunday where I play video games and talk about it from a Latina perspective. Very lastly, I want to speak on behalf of the people, the in-betweens, the folks that have jobs but are seeking something besides that for me doing art full time. Um, I do see a lot of folks here that are amazing entrepreneurs that have made it. And this is for the people that are not quite there. Uh, keep going, you're gonna get a lot of no's. And specifically for the artists, I know a lot of people are gonna ask you to work for free. Don't. If you are asking an artist to work for free, compensate them in some way, whether it be helping them out with transportation, with coffee drinks, with food, accommodate them for their time because art takes a lot of skill and a lot of time. Guys, that has been my time. I'm gonna sketch and I'm gonna go to bed. So if you're participating in Inktober with me, have at me, use that hashtag. It's been an absolute honor hosting this for the third time. Mwah. Good night.